Alright, so far so good. Find the distance from chord PQ to the center O. What is the distance from chord PQ to the center O? And how even do we measure the distance? Right? Should we measure the distance like this? Is this the distance? Is this the distance? Is this the distance? Remember what I said at the opening of this section. The distance is always perpendicular. The distance to the center, the closest way you can find, is always perpendicular. So this is the distance, right here. O to this point that's not named. All right? So we're going to call this point R. And we made it. We made that point R, and we're making it right. And we're going to make it a perpendicular right angle because we want the distance from O to PQ. All right. Now what do we do? Well, what I see here is some right triangle action. So let's draw another radius. Remember, there are radii, infinite number of radii going all the way around the circle. So we can draw another radii to OP. Why not? You see how now we have a right triangle here? So check it out. We have, here's the right angle. OP is what? It's 13, right? Because it's a radii given is that all radii are 13. OP is 13. Uh, let's see what else. What's PR? Well, PQ is 10. It was given that PQ is 10, so what's PR? Remember, from the center to the perpendicular line to a chord, that bisects it. It's the perpendicular bisector. So if it bisects it, that means each one is 5, right? So it's 5. This is 5, this is 5. So now in our right triangle we have one side is 13, one side is 5, and the last side is the answer that we want. Okay? Now if you are really sharp with your special right triangles, you already know what it is. But you know, if you're not the kind of person who's going to memorize your right triangles, fine. Don't worry about it. It's a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So in the Pythagorean theorem, right, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And don't get confused. What is a, b, and c? a and b are legs, and c is the hypotenuse. So where do you put these numbers? Remember, the legs are the ones that connect to the right angle. So PR is a leg, and OR is a leg. And this is the hypotenuse over here. So don't go and put this in the B spot and you get the wrong answer. So it's going to be PR squared plus OR squared equals OP squared. All right, PR squared, that's 5 squared plus OR squared, that's X, we don't know, X squared. Don't forget the squared, right? Plus OP squared, that's 13 squared. Okay? Um, I'm going to let you do the math. What you'll get up is X equals 12. So, uh, it, it astounds me how kids get bogged down in doing to like so overjoyed to get to do a little algebra and then they forget what the question is. The question was find the distance from chord PQ to the center O. What is this distance from PQ to O? This is the distance. That distance is 12. It's the last leg. It's 12. All right, come out here. I want to say something. Okay, if you got confused on that, first of all, don't worry. All right? Your brain is still growing. You'll do better. Um, but this is really, this is really the essence of what geometry is about. If you are still locked into trying to memorize a list of theorems, and you memorize the Pythagorean theorem rather than simply intuit it, right? Arrive at it by discovery then you're going to have a problem in geometry, because geometry, there's just too many rules. Geometry isn't about rules, so if you're trying to figure it out through rules, it's going to be harder for you, right? 
So forget about the rules and just follow it by common sense. It's just a puzzle that you can think through through common sense, or as we say in math language, through logic. All right? Don't worry, we're going to do a lot more of those. Let's do a different type of problem right now.